What up, everybody? I'm Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw, and man, I'm so happy. Issue 100. It's been a strange trip, but we're finally at Fantastic Four, Issue 100. The long-awaited issue, Villains, Villains, and Villains. And yes, there's a twist in these Villains, Villains, and Villains. And I'm just so glad I'm happy that I've done all this. I'm actually at Issue 100, and I'm going to tell you guys, I will be continuing the story, yes. Now, the journey home, of course, the Fantastic Four left in their ship. Uh, Crystal decided to pal around with them for a while. Of course, she has to come back because of her obligations to the throne. But the ship gets shot down. And the Fantastic Four start falling to their doom. But with the combined powers of Sue and Crystal's elemental powers, they're able to touch down safely. Now they have to find the ship, which Johnny does locate. And it is completely smashed, damaged beyond repair. So they're going to try to figure out what they're going to do next, and more importantly, who shot them down and why. And someone in the bushes is waiting. It is Crane. Yes, the Conqueror fires a blast, firing all this debris at them, but the Human Torch is able to uh, use his powers to incinerate most of it. So they're trying to figure out, is it Crane that shot them down? But as they're trying to figure that out, Dr. Doom comes out of nowhere. Doom! And throws a bomb, which they are protected against. And uh, this is kind of weird because uh, Crane, Doom, their egos, they don't exactly match. I mean, they, they team up every once in a while, but not really. And all of a sudden, Crystal has enough of this. She uses her elemental powers, knocks down a tree. And we find out that this is the Puppet Master and the Mad Thinker's doing. Using the Mad Thinker's intelligence and the Puppet Master's radioactive clay, they've been able to create a new kind of android. And all these creatures that have been attacking Doom and Crane, they aren't the real deal. They're actually androids. Yes, they are androids. They're pieces of this and that. Personally, I think Doom's bots are better, but hey, I'm a Dr. Doom fan. For life! Anyways... Getting back into this, you know, they get attacked by the Sentry, uh, a Kree Sentry, of course, which is another replica. And uh, they're kind of going into this battle thinking, you know, these guys are androids. We could go full force. And uh, I love how Reed attacks this guy and he just crumbles them up into a ball and throws them at Ben. Of course, Ben's not having any of this. He decides to grab a rock and smash him. The most pragmatic approach, I guess. Fires a laser beam, doesn't work. And, of course, it's clobbering time and... Ben just beats the brakes off of him. And I guess Mr. Fantastic is trying to put himself back together. And uh, Johnny, of course, manages to find them some rides. As they're trying to fly around, trying to figure out what they're going to do next, the Dragon Man appears. Yes, the Dragon Man. We're going to take you back. Who, man, that's a villain from way back. As they're uh, trying to deal with this new foe that just popped out of the sky. And uh, the Human Torch, like I said, is fast. He does know how to maneuver. And he does know how to outmaneuver this dragon. I mean, this dragon's big, he's fast, he's strong. He has a lot of things going for him, but Johnny has a lot of experience. So the Fantastic Four row out as um, Johnny took care of the dragon. Well, all of a sudden, a whirlpool appears. And they're wondering who did this and why. And of course, it is Submariner. Or a replica of Submariner. Grabs on the bend and the fight is on. Now, keep in mind, these two guys have fought. A few times already. And of course, the boat does make it to shore. Thanks to a little help from Crystal and Johnny. Ben's still down there fighting. And I was going to erase this, but I, I kind of think this is kind of cool. The, the classic look of the comics. You know, I was going to slice this up. But I, was, I figured, oh, what the hell. This is the 100th issue. And of course, Ben kind of runs running for his life. You know, because the whole Atlantean force is on him. And he'll fight better on land. The deeper uh, Namor is in water, the stronger he gets. And, uh, yeah, these ads are just completely wacky. I, like I said, I was going to edit them, but I figured, oh, what the hell, might as well throw them in. So, uh, yeah, the Fantastic Four are fighting these facsimiles, these androids. One comes after Sue at their own peril. And, uh, yeah, the Super Scroll is actually using a vacuum gun, which I find weird. But technology is technology and manages to zap away the Human Torch's powers. And, of course, everyone's doing their fighting bit, but Crystal has had enough, and she unleashes the full elemental on these androids, and boom, they go flying off into pieces. 
And this is where the Fantastic Four needs to regroup. They need to figure out what's going on. They need to figure out where the bad guys are, where they're sending these androids, and how many more are left. Of course, they managed to get a car. But it doesn't really help because the Red Ghost comes out of nowhere. And the Red Ghost is basically this creature or this guy who's a scientist who kind of irradiated a bunch of monkeys too. Basically, imagine the Fantastic Four with one mad scientist and four monkeys with different powers. Anyways, they go off. They start attacking. And keep in mind, these are all androids. And, of course, the wizard comes out, the Fearsome Four. Well, I guess the Fearsome Three now, since Medusa is no longer part of the group. So, uh, yeah, these guys attack. And, uh, of course, they make quick work of the wizard. And, of course, Sandman tries to take his hand at it. And these guys are just simply outclassed. I mean, they have pseudo-memories, they have pseudo-powers, but the Fantastic Four has dealt with the originals. So they know how to fight these guys. They know how to stay on top of things. And plus, Crystal is the unknown unknown. She's doing such a great job in this. I, I, I like Crystal as a member of this group. And they bring back forth their final puppet, the, the Incredible Hulk. And they try waking him up and... Of course, his rage is rage. No matter if he's an android or not, the Hulk is pissed off. He begins smashing things. He begins destroying things, which forces the Puppet Master to kind of take a shot at him. And uh, Ben and everyone else is regrouping as the laboratory explodes. And they're going to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to catch these guys, and if they can catch these guys. Well, I guess we'll find out the next time, won't we? And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah, yo.